Good evening sports fans, my name is Bright Ops and welcome back to Blood Bowl 2. Now, for those of you who were, who were here last time, the Bright Ops Temple Guards managed to achieve victory over the... Camry? Camry? I think that's how you pronounce them? Pronounce their name? And... Moving on to the next game, we are going up against one of the three Skaven teams that are currently making up the Bronze Division. Let us see how this goes. All organizational details have been settled. The match can begin. Yep, they've hired someone. We'll see who in a bit. Oh yes, and for those who are curious in... Because I know it's been asked a couple of times. Match time! It's been asked a couple of times in the... About the tickets. About in the... That menu just before. The way that that works is it, it more... It's one of those factors that really comes in for... Online multiplayer tournaments. Because some are more invite only. And earning a ticket is how you basically enter the thing. It Good evening to all you sports fans. We should see some blinding pace today, Jim. Gutter runners have the advantage on this pitch. Outnumbered by the opposition skinks. Both teams are quite balanced. The match should be fair. Of course, showing off our amazing lineup. Look at them, they're all so happy and smiling. Because they're about to be eating some rats. And of course, they're Rat Ogre. No favorite. Ooh. So that's what they've, brought, they've hired and brought with them. That's fun little... Pain in the neck the is, is, is a and goblin fanatic. An opposing team will need to be as fast as they are, or far more violent. They can't take a punch, so start punching them now. Let's see how are we gonna do this. See, the truth of the matter is, I don't particularly want to... Actually, we're on the offensive, so... Potentially... Yes, we might be able to get away with this. But, yes... Another pitch invasion. Let's see what we got. Ooh, a fair few Skavens got stunned. Uh, my skinks got stunned, but... If nothing else, at least... At least it's just a stun. We can deal. Let's get rid of you. Because the Fnatic is interesting. In that they... As a secret weapon, they've gained seven. They, they have seven strength. But they don't really control where they go. Damn it. And... and uh, he's standing there drooling. Did not need that. Because we will be seeing why we wanted the Fnatic to be down as quickly as possible. Because the Fnatic doesn't really control where they go. They pick a direction, a general direction, and they sort of move that, that way. And anyone or anything that gets happens to get caught while they're moving 
will basically take a fairly heavy warp. Still, at the very least, this is basically nothing. This is the fact that Miss Lana, Lana the Golden went down just normally is actually probably the best thing that could have happened under the circumstances. Put some pressure on the ball carrier. Move quicker. He's on him now, like a halfling on a hot dinner. And unfortunately for this silly rat, he happened to stop right in between, the, in the middle of the sh of the sh of the skink gank squad. Let's take a quick look at that player. Yes, the unmistakable sign of a player's eyes rolling up into his head. He'll be out for some time. Let's see how are we gonna deal with this. Thankfully, we're at the, that early stage before they really develop dodging skills. Just gonna stop there because I do not want. Wants Captain Sears Armor to be murdered by. The bigger they are, the thicker they tend to be. We don't. We didn't need a second bonehead. Huh? Didn't realize this bugger had foul appearance. Their frenetic just does not want to die. It's ridiculous. He won't leave him alone any time soon. I recognize in hindsight I probably like this, I probably sport. should have run si sinister up but at least this way we have the assurance that when they when when sinister does run that they will at least have support from their fellow skaven All this focus on the skinks the spirit of the game. fellow skinks Okay, now you didn't... You didn't stand there like a moron. Unity is strength! That's gonna hurt in the morning! As much as that sucks. when they're in pain. Sounds like victory. As much as it sucked that the turn ended early, I'm... that's honestly probably as be good as that would have gone. Just an injured rat is always... always a nice one. And Trevor is very close to actually... to actually leveling up. And we are getting remarkably lucky with this fanatic. Uh, 
This could be fun, especially if a ball holder goes down. This is getting fight. Ah, we called that Buffalo's Kiss. I am willing to admit take of responsibility for the fact that Sinister could could have been much further up the field before being intercepted. But Oh come on. This is just getting ridiculous. I mean, okay, I probably shouldn't have used our re-roll to try and take out the Fnatic. Especially not with Grey Vested, because of Lona, but... Good call. Intimidation is the key. It's one of my strengths to hide this Yes, we're entering somewhat dangerous territory here. Not what you'd expect. This is a failure that could cost his team dear. Because to give you an idea, the only the people of the people we've got. <laughs> people we've got, the only ones who can really handle the ball are the Skinks. And we're down at least, and two of them are currently knocked out. It looks like that's still on the menu tonight. Light night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Really. Don't let them. They're massive and can take your hand right off. On the plus side, we can at least secure the way for Arlet, Arlet remaining with the skinks. At least she gets the ball anyway. Unfortunately, our the ball, and the end zone is close. Unfortunately, Blizzardman, we can't re our Saurus, we can't really get away from Fritz because, well, do honestly, considering how poorly our dodge, our agility is, he would have, he would have had more luck not getting smacked by the by the fanatic. Ah yes, if a fanatic rolls their dice to move in a direction that is towards a downed player, they have the potential to cause quite a bit of harm. I stroking him on his belly or chin armed him down. There's no harm in making a block on the ball, Captain. Well, actually, you can do a lot of harm. <laughs> That's kind of the point. Let's get rid of you. Contain Scalp of the Itchy.
And we are making progress towards the end zone. Despite the earlier complications. On the plus side, if we can ne if we can score the, the if we can score, we can get rid of that damn fanatic. Before, preferably before he kills someone. <laughs> And I'm not saying that as hopeful thinking. I have had in previous, in previous, with previous teams against a fanatic like this one, I have lost very important people. Though he thankfully has injured himself. All pain for that team. Their pain is our game. And we managed to get credit for it because there was a double down. Nice. Wasn't expecting it, but I'll take it. He's off the field. That's all that matters. Let's see what the AI decides to do. Oh wait, it's my turn. Oh, so Oh, sorry, that... I completely apologize for that, I... I goofed, I didn't... I forgot to realize that it was a turnover because he died. Whoops-a-daisy. Can we? Yes, we can. Just try no harm, trying to get a few more injuries off from the rat and the rat folk. We may see that player later if they wait. And now let's level up our first skip. And both of our skinks are back up. Wonderful. Alas, so are all of their knocked out rats. A fresh start, fellas. You can return to the slaughter. Let's see, defense. They're we just. Player. Easy to replace. Possession is the key to winning. Which must drive the coach crazy, as his team has just kicked it away. <laughs> just need to keep them from moving up the field for at least another two, for another two turns, plus one round of us just punching them really, really hard in the face. There is a somewhat easy way for us to limit the Skaven's ball running handling abilities. And it didn't come. And that is to basically murder these two pe these two rats here. They're gutter runners. Hits. Not perfectly fine. Their gutter rudders are at this point in time just a bit too far out of range for us to really do anything against. At least that, at least that one over there is. 
from the ball. You'll get an assist now. Is the assist going to be enough to come out on top? Let's try. Nope. Just he got the loner again. Thankfully, he is not good. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not good. All right. <laughs> that's why I love this game. Well, that's not good. That is not good at all. Admittingly, it was just a normal badly injured, so he will ultimately be fine. But that does mean we we're gonna have to put a bit more effort into containing These their ratoga. Just too fast. Look at them. Thankfully, we've got the so the sauruses, so this isn't the worst possible. Matt, this isn't the worst possible thing to have ever happened to us. Since that f pl that force strength is really useful for us in this under the circumstances. That's a fairly decent defensive thing. Another pitch invasion. What? What is it with them invading the pitch? Just are our fans just particularly rowdy? Is that it? Though this does put Cyclone of Despair in a slightly awkward situation. Scoops up the ball with ease. Just like the this player keeps on going and going and going. For those of you curious, on, there is a plan here. <laughs> Just getting more. Wait, is that... Wait, what? The Saurus. Oh, they hit hard. Get up, or get off the field. <laughs> there is actually a plan for this... particular... fight. <laughs> we're gonna move... We're going to move our skinks around to intercept their... Gutter Runner. Because Gutter Runners are unique amongst the Skaven since while they are quick and nimble like the Skink, a bit more quick, well they're a bit more agile than the Skinks and have a bit more of a movement range, they have the same strength. Which means that's we, that's if we can get two Skinks on them we can actually have the advantage. <laughs> Unfortunately, this does mean that we're going to have to put these particular sauruses into harm's way to try and lock down these rats here, so they can't really pull back to stop us from murdering their teammates. Or at least have a harder time doing it. But we've got... but we can get... if we can pin down Snibbler here and just beat him into a pulp, all will be well.
And we just have to wait for the AI to actually think of what it's going to be doing. Because it seems to be struggling. There we go. Ah oh, yes, the Ratsuga. The Ratoga has Wild Animal, which honestly is one of the best weak weaknesses that a big, an impressive a big guy can have. In that, yes, if if you're not attacking someone and you you have a chance of not doing anything. Yep, I reckon that's what he'd say if he could talk. Corin Brands, the chef, moving in. That's. We'll also free up some. S oh. Well, we're going to be freeing up some space. As soon as we can get this bloody gutter runner to fucking. Pride comes before the fall. Well, we at least this one has the decency of going down and dying. Ouch! <laughs> Quite literally, as the case may, as the quake case it turns out to be. see him on the pitch later. Let's see, let's see if we can get Michael to pick the ball up. Sadly no, but hey, at least we have some more more of a presence here. And I'm honestly glad that... I'm honestly somewhat glad that Michael didn't pick the ball up. He's already earned his level up. I'd like to give the... I'd like to give some of the other skinks a chance to do as well. Actually, so is Trevor. Miss Lana just freeing Wait, up Sinister. Up, to get the next time. <laughs> Move the current brand here just to help clear the ball a little. The attacker has an assist. And Sinister goes for it. Hello, so near to the end zone. And touchdown! The crowd goes wild. Not a good They are going utterly wild. Take yourselves! Here's the touchdown, which could protect them from a comeback. This might be the end. Seconds go second score. Nice. And the Skinks are currently having a wonderful time. All the knocked out players are back on the field. How delightful. They're short of one player. That's a gap that can be filled. They've kicked the ball to the opponents. Now it's time to think defensively. Now this could... I'm happy to get another reroll. More than happy to get another reroll. Though kind of... Annoy because rerolls will actually benefit them. 
they don't have the ridiculously large numbers that you can get later on in the season. At least not yet, anyway. Still, I'll take it. A free reroll's a free reroll. Forget the balls. Just try dishing out a few whacks. Oh, the ball has been lost. And they just threw it away. <laughs> Let's push you back. See if we can murder. Yep, we can murder you, definitely. Free up a little space. Move our hungry, hungry lizards up, up the field a bit. And preferably away from the rat. The very big, dangerous rat. Disappointing. So we're slowly getting Conrad the Executioner around there to... Well, start executing some vermin. Though right now we're gonna have to stop that. Stop that gutter runner from making... Getting too many ideas. Managed to lay out an opponent of half his strength? There's nothing better than hitting someone smaller than you. Ugh, is Not this time. Well, that's not good at all. Thankfully, we managed to. Michael managed to slip by. Let's see if we can kill ourselves a rat. They're going for the ball. Unfortunately, no. That's it. Aim for the ball carrier. Take them down. I had had much higher hopes than that. On the plus side, we should hopefully be able to contain the rather dangerous rat ogre that has decided to be a pain in our ass. I mean, I'll admit the uh, the fact that. They're probably not going to be able to actually score enough points to win this. Is it is a cold comfort? I would rather them not score where possible. Let's see, can he make it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He can, but he would have to go for it in order to score. Which, considering the fact that they do actually have a reroll, is not impossible.
It's usually... No, there we go, it's start. It took a few se a little while for it to come up with how its ingenious plan. Great Greece falls would struggle to dot sorry. And this is a touchdown. Bob, do you think that touchdown will renew interest in the moon? No. A death, Jim. We need a good death to bring some life back into this match. One team is lighter, not a significant difference, but it can impact the game. They kick the ball to the team, but they have to keep their heads because it will be on the way back to them soon enough. Okay, move sinister there, and might as well also move Michael up a bit just to. Uh... I will admit, scoring this time, not as important right now as... Well, to be fair, they did mention... They... the... Bob did say that a death would make this match more interesting, and by hell did it make it more interesting. Who exactly did we just kill, anyway? Oh, just a normal lineman, but... Hey, a death's a death. Makes the blood boil. Apparently, this player forgot his hands in the changing rooms. Let's get you off out of the way. Or at least try to get you out of the way. And make any attempt, actual thoughts of picking up the bull la laugh, laughing matter. Let's see if we can kill anyone else. Cause oh look, so many ra rodents within punching distance, so little time. This player likes to be well assisted in a fight. Have another injury. He hit. Yep, I reckon that's what he'd say if he could talk. Well, at least they're not dead. Yeah. Well, we're not gonna. I do not believe we're gonna be able able to score in this last few moments of the match. But at the very least, we should be able to prevent them from do from doing anything as well. Which is honestly, at the moment, the best we can hope for. Captain Armor was knocked out. Well done. Let's see, can we get another kill? Or at least another injury. Because the Sauruses need levels up too. Some te some skills would be really beneficial for them. Plus just generally mauling a, sca a Skaven team is always good for a laugh. Surrounded by adversaries like that, I hope he knows what he's doing. Look at Twinkle Toes there.
Alright, we're gonna try... Why not? Nope. Was Chick going for a free attempted? What about you, Chick? Oh, well, you really asked for my opinion. Well... Oh yeah, that's right, Chick. I forgot. I really don't care what you think. Because, as we... As mentioned before, if you can actually throw a pass and have them catch it, you will actually gain XP. We're at the reroll. Let's see. Yep, and it paid off. Very nice. And Sinister Seven the Mad is our MVP, and have gained and have managed to gain a level up. That would make at least three of our skavens who have three of our skinks, sorry, who have managed to do this. But yes, let's see, three levels up. And an extra reroll. Which should be n which is good. Very good. Let's see what we got. Let's see an agility. Well our first thing will our first what thing we'll get be getting just naturally is sidestep. Because sidestep as an ability allows you to Basically what happens is, if we get pushed, we get to decide where we're getting pushed to, not the enemy. So just... so we would get to pick which square they are moved to. And we can pick any square, not just the three behind us. Which... Are magic sponges really magical? Ooh. That's a trade secret, Jim. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I was not expecting us to get a reroll because. Honestly? Let's do it. Sinister 7 the Mad is gaining strength. I normally. Normally I wouldn't simply because uh, skinks, but just having that extra point of strength now puts Sinister on par with most linemen. So by doing that, Sinister just became our most fighty skink. But yeah, another sidestep. Just that le that level of control is just really useful for us. Okay, and that is it for this time. So, just having a look here at the leaderboard, we are still pretty much tie for top of the leaderboard. We've let's see where that. I'm pretty sure we were just against the Warfire Rippers. Because they're the one, they're the Skaven team that lost. Yep, they're the ones that lost, and they took some serious a serious pounding there. It is ridiculous. Because they're now the lowest team value on the on the, in the division. I've always been a fan of Orchidas. They sell a rather fetching line of T-shirts. Let's see, the Moldy Rippers are still competing with us. Let's see, and just for the sake of it, let's have a quick look up here, just to see their leaderboard. Where is... Let's see... Dwarf, 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 where... Oh, oh wait, sorry, I'm thinking of the wrong... Divi I'm thinking of the wrong league! The, I'm just, sorry, I was thinking of the Bright o of the Blight Ops Zealots League, not the Temple Guard. But yes, next time, we will be going up against the Distorted Tunnelers. The th Ace Gaming team that is currently third on the leadership ladder. But until then, my name is Brightops, and I look forward to hearing from you.